What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we are going to be taking an updated look at the top 10 most valuable cards in my collection. Uh, typically I like to do these videos every three to four months because the list is always changing and I got to thinking about it and realized that I haven't done one of these in a while. I figured now would be a good time. I do have some new additions to the list so definitely excited to show you guys the updated look at the top 10 most valuable cards in my collection. We are gonna get into those here in a minute, but uh, real quick, I do wanna say, whenever I do these videos, this is not me in any way trying to brag about my collection, you know, saying, look what I have, uh, or anything like that. Uh, you know, I personally, I really enjoy watching other YouTubers do these type of videos. You know, when they talk about their top 10 most favorite cards, uh, top 10 most valuable, I really, really enjoy watching those videos. So I hope you guys do as well. And I, I really like recording these as well, just because it does help me document, you know, how my collection is changing over time. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, not me in any way trying to brag. Uh, you know, there are plenty of people out there with collections uh, or maybe just one card that is worth way more than my entire collection. So uh, never, never compare what you have to what others have. Just collect what you like, enjoy what you have, and that is definitely what I am trying to do. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Real quick, before we do get into it, just have a couple of announcements. Uh, the 502 shirts are on 502frank.com. I was able to sell a, uh, you know, a few of these at the Lexington show this past weekend. I do have different uh, colors and sizes. So I do have the small logo in the black with the Miami colorway and then the gray shirt with the small logo as well and then I have black and gray with the big logo across the chest those are $25 shipped again on 502frank.com I do have some sizes still available very very limited run so if you are interested head over to 502frank.com if you click on the top tab go down to merch all of the different you know options uh, are there and then uh, real quick I do also want to say that I am an affiliate for the uh, sports card investor market movers app so that is what I'm going to be throwing up the prices or the screenshots of these prices on the screen if you guys are interested in joining that uh, you can click the link in the description and if you enter Frank 20 you will get 20% off of that subscription it is a very very useful tool you know you can uh, see eBay sold listings you can track the entire value of your collection so all the cards you see here i can enter in the market movers tool uh, app and it will show you it will track the recent uh sales on ebay so you can see if your collection is going up in value or down in value uh, you can check the sealed wax prices how those are changing so definitely a very very useful app again uh, if you sign up with code frank20 you will get 20 percent off and uh, that's how i'm going to be showing the prices on these now i will say some of these cards i'm just kind of guessing the price because there are, have been no recent sales and if there have been no recent sales and there are any listed i will throw up the listing price as well so i'm gonna do my best here some of these are very very tough because they're either pop one or just haven't had any sales. So kind of, you know, doing my best guess on some, but with all that out of the way, we will go ahead and get into the list. And first up, really, uh, you know, number 10 and number nine could be interchanged. They were, you know, both just kind of guesses. There were no recent sales on either one. And the Zion is actually a pop one. So this one did come out of the Hoops Premium Stock Red Shimmer. This is from T-Mall. So it is number 288. Nice low numbered Zion rookie card can't go wrong uh, you know this was a personal pull for me did send it to PSA was lucky enough to get the 10 and again this is pop one I am estimating the value on this to be a thousand dollars none listed none sold because it is a pop one and mine is not available so my best guess on this is a thousand dollars you know he's been playing out of his mind this season his market is definitely hot right now so my best guess on this again a thousand dollars and again the next card Really, these two could be interchanged. It's basically a tie at nine and 10. My guess on this one is $1,000 as well. Now, this one is actually not a pop one. I think it's like pop one or two, but none ha none are listed and none have sold. So again, very hard to say, but I do think the value on this is 1,000 or more. This is not a rookie Luca. It is second year, but the die cuts are extremely, extremely hard to grade. This one did get a PSA 10. Uh, so this was, you know, obviously out of Contenders Optic, the Superstar die cut, very, <coughs> excuse me, very, very cool looking card. I'm a huge fan of this one. Again, best guess on this, somewhere around $1,000. So the Zion and the Luca, uh, you know, are pretty much the same there at 910. 
Next up, we do have another Zion. This one is out of Select. So we have a Premier Level Select Silver, another personal pull, and I uh, sent this to BGS, did get a 9.5. And I will you know, throw up a recent sale on this one from the Market Movers app. And I believe the most recent sale is right around $1,200 on this one. So since this one did have a recent sale, I, I went ahead and put this one at eight and put it you know, ahead of the, the first two. So value on this one is somewhere right around $1,200 currently. And next up, we do have a Justin Herbert Auto. This one is out of honors again. Another one that's, uh, <laughs> excuse me, was very, very tough to price just because there are so many different variations of this card. Um, there's some that are numbered to five, 10, 25. Uh, this one in particular is numbered to 10. So this one is one of 10. The most recent sale on this one is actually prior to when I got the card. I think the most recent sale was like 1380 and I ended up picking up the card for like partial trade, part cash. I think the value was right around like 13 to 1400. So I'm putting the value on this one at 1500 just for the fact that it is to 10. It's numbered one of 10. So, you know, people usually like the ones, one out of 10, 10 out of 10 or Jersey number. So just for the fact that it is one out of 10, very, very short print, Justin Herbert Auto. Uh, I'm putting the value at $1,500 on that one. So that is checking in at number six. And next up, checking in at number five, we have the Joe Burrow Mosaic Rookie Scripts. Another personal pull. Was lucky enough to pull this out of a Mosaic Mega Box. Absolutely crazy pull. One of my best pulls ever, honestly. And uh, so again, out of Mosaic, the Rookie Scripts did send this one to PSA as well. And, you know, again, was lucky enough to get the 10. And this one does have recent sales at $1,500. So this one's very close to the Herbert, but I did go ahead and put this one just slightly ahead, just because there are, you know, verified recent sales of $1,500. I do also want to mention real quick, forgot to mention before the list, I do have two cards that would be on this list, but they are currently being graded by PSA. So the Kobe Bryant Slam out of Hoops, the Green Explosion, is currently at PSA. That one would definitely be on this list. And then the Contenders Optic Ja Morant Auto, which is numbered at 25. That one is currently being graded by PSA as well. That one would definitely be on the list as well, but I don't have them in my possession at the moment. So hopefully those will come back soon, but you know, we'll see what happens. So moving on, next one up. Again, another difficult one, just because there have not ever been any of these sell. There are two currently listed on eBay, which I will throw up on the screen. I believe one is at 2,500, one is at 3,000. None have sold. This is the Ja Morant Chronicles Flux Blue, numbered to 99. Very, very cool looking card. I'm a big fan of the Flux. You can see in the background, I have the jaw there, the Zion over there. So my value on this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess 1,500 to 2,000. Just because there are two listed for 2,500 and 3,000, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one slightly above the borough. I would I would say probably you know closer to 2,000 on this one. Again, these are very tough. Just a guess. I know you feel free to disagree with me out there. This is just some of these are just my estimation. Uh, you know, a lot of these are really tough just because there are no recent sales and you know just like the next one, it's a pop one. So you know who who knows what the value really is. Uh, again, I'm putting the value. On this one, right around $2,000 again. I was, uh, this was a recent pickup at a Louisville card show. Uh, shout out to Extreme Card Breaks for the deal on this one. Picked this up raw for right around like $600. Sent it in, graded it, got a 10. Uh, this is a pop one, like I said. Uh, so my valuation on this one is right around $2,000. Number to 99, on card, Luis Robert Auto. Just an amazing, amazing looking card. Bought it with the intention to flip, and now I don't wanna let it go just because it is such a beautiful card. So that is checking in at number four. And now checking in at number three, we're getting down to it. And this is one that I haven't showed recently, haven't really talked about, but it is still in my collection. This one is you know, likely one that will be in my collection for a very, very long time. This is the Goat of Tennis. Uh, you know, Nadal and Djokovic are very, very close, but in my opinion, uh, Federer is the Goat. And you know, a lot of these other cards on the list, actually, I guess really all of the other cards on the list are very, very volatile. They're young players. Who knows what can happen? Uh, you know, every time I do this, people say that, you know, you, you, you collect too much modern, they could crash at any, any moment. I understand that. 
but I've been in, I've, you know, I've been back in the hobby for about three or four years now. I love the modern stuff. That's what I collect and I'm going to collect what I like. However, you know, we do have a goat here. So his, I would say his, uh, you know, prices and value is going to remain pretty consistent. So this is one that I do not, you know, I will not be looking to part with anytime soon. Roger Federer out of Tops Transcendent, super, super high-end product, numbered four of 25. I will throw up a recent sale on the screen at $2,500. So I just checking in at number three. And the last two, again, are gonna be very, very hard to price. Just gonna give my best estimate because there has not been a recent sale on either one. First up, we have the Luca Auto out of Opulence. This is a an on-card Luca Auto, rookie auto out of Opulence. Very, again, very, very high-end product. Super short print, number to 25. Now there have been some recent sales of the one to 99, but to 25, there have been no recent sales. So again, very, very hard to price. My estimate on this one is $5,000. And honestly, I think that's pretty conservative. You know, this is one of the few products that doesn't have the real loopy Lulu. I know when I know people hate it when I mention it, but in my opinion, this is the legit auto. So just my opinion. Uh, but I do think this one has a little bit more value than some of the other ones with the real loopy Lulu Auto. Uh, so my best guess on this one is right around $5,000. Checking in at number two, and you guys already know what's coming at number one. We still have the Prism Mosaic Blue Luca PSA 10. Again, very, very tough because you know there have been no recent sales. There is one currently listed on eBay and it is for $15,000 or best offer. Now, in my opinion, I think that's a little high. Uh, my estimate on this one would be probably between eight to 10,000. Uh, so yeah, you guys have seen this before. You guys probably knew it was coming. It is uh, still number one, definitely the most valuable card in my collection and one that I, you know, hopefully I can keep for quite a while. But that is checking in at number one. That does it for the updated look at the top 10 most valuable cards in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what your favorite card was down in the comments. Definitely be interested to know. Again, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, so we are ready for our giveaway on the RJ Barrett Select Silver. So again, have to give a huge shout out to Clay Wilson for throwing this up for the giveaway. He was in the most recent BGS submission, said he wanted to uh, provide a giveaway for my subscribers. So I really, really do appreciate that. Again, uh, follow him on Instagram if you have not already at ClayWilson32. Also, do want to apologize that I did not put this giveaway in the middle of the video like normal. So we're going to throw it up at the end. So we are ready to go. Do have that video pulled up. We'll go ahead and get the link. And let's pull that in Safari. And we'll paste that in there. And let's filter duplicates and get our comments. All right. So we got 318 comments on that video. So I do appreciate that. And now let's get our winner and see who's going to get the RJ. And it's going to be Kevin Waldy. He said the Barrett is a sweet card. All right, man. Well, congrats. If that is you, send me a DM on Instagram or an email with your address. I'll get that shipped out.